I'm George Gress. I'm a fire specialist land steward with the Nature Conservancy, and we're at our Ecopian Preserve today, which is in uh, Lancaster County, looking for bog turtles. Sometimes, depending how how fresh they are, you can actually go. Let's say it's going this way. Sometimes this particular wetland here is important because this is one of the bog turtle populations that's been studied for um, over over 30 years, and so we we can get a lot more information about the ages of these turtles when we have a longer term study going on like that. And we've documented a couple turtles at this site that are over 45 years old. One was over 49 years old. This guy here is probably at least 30, um, judging by the wear on his shell, and that would be a pretty conservative estimate based on the fact that almost all of the little rings or all of the annuli are worn off. Okay, so this is the first spot of turtle we found at this site this year. So his number will be 2010-1. This is dash 01. So the material that the shell is made of is, is keratin, it's similar to our, our fingernails. So to this turtle, this is about the same as, as us trimming our fingernails. The bog turtle's name, Glyptomys muhlenbergii, is actually named for Heinrich Muhlenberg, who first discovered bog turtles in south central Pennsylvania here. And they're the smallest turtle that we have in Pennsylvania, one of the rarest turtles that we have in North America. And the reason that they're rare is because they're a habitat specialist. They like wetlands that are spring-fed, soft, mucky substrates, lots of open areas to bask and lay their eggs. They're cold-blooded animals, so they're driven by the sun. So they need the sun to bask and warm their body temperature. They also need the sun to incubate their eggs. If we leave their habitat go and do nothing to it, it'll grow up into shrubs and trees, which will shade the habitat, uh, help to dry it out, and it'll also make it unsuitable for the turtles over a period of time. So it's important for us to maintain these bog turtle wetlands in that early successional stage that have very few trees and shrubs in them.